Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and uh, just got to give you a little update. Sitting here in my messy office and, oh, I better close that. Uh, it's a Sunday and I really need to clean this up, but I'm posting this on Thursday. Anyways, I just want some really crazy news has come out. As you know, I'm an F-150 Lightning driver and I love the F-150 Lightning. I personally think it's the best EV on the market if you want to go 500 kilometers on a charge. Now, if you want to go further than that on a charge, there's lots of cars out there say they will do it, but they don't. But one thing you've got to know, regardless of where you live, what is your infrastructure like for charging? First of all, there's only one company in the whole world that understands DC fast charging, and that's Tesla. We're supposed to have access to this, but it hasn't happened yet. And the Ford Motor Company just released, as I'm a Lightning owner and have been promoting these things to everybody I know. A whole bunch of people have gone out and bought them because they were on sale. But I will tell you this. There's only one company that understands DC fast charging and can make machines that don't break down, and that's Tesla. Everyone else doesn't get it, and this is why. One, they hire a manufacturer. Let's say ChemPower, or BTC, or ABB, or Alpitronic. And they say, will you install some DC fast chargers for us? And they come along and go, oh yeah, sure, we'll put them in for you. And they put them in, and but they're manufacturers, just like when you buy a car, once you drive that thing off the lot, that manufacturer doesn't care about you anymore. They have a service department if something goes wrong, but the manufacturer is finished, and this is the problem. The manufacturers are done. The service agreements are extremely expensive. I'm not gonna get into that because I did get access to a service agreement and holy mac, the amount of money they wanted to make sure this thing ran 100%. Wow, you should build better products. Now, not all manufacturers are the same as you know, but the Ford Motor Company, has totally hosed their Model E dealers, completely ripped them off, couple million bucks down the tubes, okay? Two, they are putting chargers in at these dealerships that were Model E, which aren't very many, and they are terrible, absolutely terrible chargers. I mean, they put these chargers in and an Ionic 5 can come along and charge at 231 kilowatt hours, and I come along with my Lightning, 114. Oh, I found one in Red Deer that'll do 175, I shouldn't say 175, it did do 175 for like 10 seconds, 170 kilowatt hours for 12 minutes, and it goes down to 145 until I'm 80%. Now that's a charging experience. As If you get that at every charger, you, you sell these things like crazy. But uh, in, in the city I live in, of almost 2 million people, that does not exist for me. The Tesla people get it. Now, there's not a lot of those, but the Tesla people get it. So, now what's Ford doing? They actually stopped development of the SUV three row for electrification, and I have no understanding of this. Could you please explain to me? My F-150 Lightning is a body on frame. What does that mean? Well, that means frame body. Okay, they make the frame and then they attach the body. Body on frame. So, the link get. So, the Ford Exposition platform frame is exactly the same as an F 150. You already got all these lightnings coming offline that nobody wants to buy because in Canada they're 100 plus thousand dollars and that's just too much money for 500 kilometers range okay they're just just too much money and dc fast charging doesn't work anywhere and your dealerships don't have it gee if there was just one alpitronic dual port at every dealership in canada that worked okay even if it's just 200 kilowatts per side Sound like crazy, because everybody knows I can go there 24 hours a day and get a charge 80%. I can get a charge when I need a charge. Do you know how many dealerships there are across this country? And Ford doesn't get it because, well, they just don't get it. So they cancel SUV. You can't buy a sedan anymore because SUVs are the way to go. And they cancel this through, they already built the Expedition. On a frame, that's an F-150. I don't get it. 
You just take the body and you put it on the frame and a couple of small little adjustments so you can have the mega front on the expedition. I don't get it. A uh, couple of million dollars to get that done. And you now have a wonderful three row SUV. Yeah, it'll be a hundred grand in Canada because the Lightning's a hundred grand in Canada. New product, boom. You cut your F-150 losses down. You now have the Expedition coming out on that platform. And now you're selling those like crazy because anyone that wants an EV with a three row, you got to go get a Rivian. They're the only ones. And in Canada, I don't even want to tell you how much those cost. It's crazy. But once again, the Ford Motor Company's too stupid to realize what they're actually doing. Oh, we're going to do hybrids. No, that's just uh, stupid. So here you go. The Ford Motor Company is screwing up, along with all the rest, including Tesla. Tesla built a truck that nobody wants. They're going to learn the hard way of how, what happens when you build something and your demand isn't there, but you think it will be there because it's futuristic. It doesn't matter that the tech inside that truck, steer by wire and all the rest of the stuff, doesn't matter. People are not going to buy that. Forget it. Expensive, crazy, forget it. So there you go. A nice little update of what's going on in the Ford EV world and the GM EV world and the Tesla EV world. So write letters and say, hey, look at my dirty office and cluttery all over the place. I just got so much going along. I just keep throwing stuff everywhere and not doing anything about it. But thank you for tuning in. And remember, we got to get those DC fast chargers installed all over the place so we can actually charge when we're not at home. But uh, hoo -wee, that just does not happen very often. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Summer's almost over. Get out there and enjoy it because you know I am. We'll see you in the future.